my channel my name is Abdullah Kamil and today's video is about answering a question from Hakim Parma I guess um, so um, his comment was on an earlier uh, video that we uploaded to the channel where we um, explained how to apply a discount for uh, a certain price list for different customers so whenever you change the customer a new um, discount will be applied to the prices okay so uh, his question was what if we uh, what if we want to uh, give everyone different prices and not discounts so basically what he wants to do is to have one price list but the price switches whenever you choose a different customer okay so this is what we're gonna do on this video as per his request and uh, I hope that answers your question all right so let's get started so in this sheet we have our price list this is what we're gonna print out this is what we're gonna give our customers okay so the first thing we need to have is to have um, you know a drop down menu here where we can select our customer okay um, and then the other thing on a separate sheet you need to have uh, let's say you have three customers okay so for each one of those three customers design your list for that customer okay so and put that price that you want to give them so for company one we have this table for company two we have this one and company three we have uh, this table here okay and basically uh, the ultimate goal is to have this you know list here switches between those three lists here whenever you change the customer name okay uh, some things uh, you need to be familiar with you know to uh, fully understand uh, what we're gonna do here in this video the first thing is you need to uh, have an idea uh, what we mean by formatting a range as a table the other thing is you need to uh, kind of have uh, f um, an idea on um, indirect function and how to do data validation and um, I think that's it and if we if we found something else we'll uh, talk about it okay so um, let's go to the lists first uh, the first thing we need to do here is to uh, format each one of those lists as a table okay and when you do that you're basically telling uh, Excel that this is a table which is very similar to a database table which has columns and rows or fields and records okay so and once we design it like that you see that we have something called table tools here okay with a lot of uh, other functionalities here uh, something very important here is the table name uh, now you have the option to uh, call this table uh, a name it, it's very similar to the named range okay so we're gonna name this with the same company name okay so our company name is company one okay so uh, for your case you probably need to put the real company name here but make sure you don't have any spaces okay and if you do then you need to handle that in the function later on with VLOOKUP um, and use the substitute function to get rid of that space option okay so uh, okay we do the same thing for uh, company 2 we format it as a table and our table has headers here of course and we make sure that we name the table company 2 Company two with no spaces. That's important. We do the same thing again for company three. Okay, and we name it company three. So we have now three tables. Each one of them is named after the company that we're gonna give this price to. Okay. All right. So uh, we have everything prepared here now. So the next step, we come here okay and we need to design our drop down menu so we can select the customer okay or the company that we're gonna sell our products to okay so on a separate sheet or probably just in the same sheet just somewhere that um, doesn't bother you uh, just you know put a header here uh, says company 
and put the company names here company one company two and company three of course you can put it uh, in a separate sheet if you like you know you still can do that all right so um now uh, the same thing we're gonna do we're gonna format it as a table okay and our table has header here because this is uh, the header that we have and uh, the table name here uh, we can call it companies okay so we're gonna call this table companies so okay the next thing now is to uh, use data validation so we can um, and you go from the data tab to data validation here because we, what we want to do we we don't want to allow any value we want to allow only a list so it's going to ask you where is the source of your list and this is where we're going to say okay we're going to use the indirect function basically we're going to direct the um, data validation to this list here okay we're going to use the indirect function because uh, we want to be able in the future to add more companies to the company table okay and we want them to be taken you know automatically in the drop down list okay so we write indirect and then we put the uh, quotation mark and we write the uh, table name which is companies and uh, between square brackets we write the uh, column name where that list exists which is company here Okay, we close the quotation mark and we close the parentheses here. And now, when we click OK, you can see that we have our list now. So we have company one, company two, company three. Imagine if you want it in the future to add company four, you just come here at the bottom of the table and write company four and hit enter. And you can see that the table's been expanded to include company four with it. The other thing is when you go back to uh, the uh, company name, you can see immediately that company four has been added to the list. OK, and so this is why we use the indirect function. OK, so now let's remove uh, company four because we don't have it. All right, so uh, let's choose company one. So when we choose company one, what we want um, uh, to happen here with the price is we want to display the price for company one from this table okay and when we switch company two we want to switch to the other um, price list okay all right okay so how we're gonna do that um, if these are unique names which they are and should be because uh, you're given a price list, you wouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't have duplicates. Okay, so the price we're gonna get the price by using VLOOKUP. Okay, so you need to get familiar with VLOOKUP. If you are not, then you can watch my other video on the same channel about how to use VLOOKUP correctly. Okay, so we write VLOOKUP. Good practice is always to press tab, so it uh, completes the function and open the first parenthesis for you. It's going to ask you where the uh, lookup value is, and we say, okay, this is our lookup value. This is what we want to look for. The next thing is going to ask you where do you want to look for it, in which array, in which table, okay? We want to search for it in a table called company one, right? The, uh, the price list that we have saved in sheet one. So we're going to direct uh the function to that table okay but we want it to be linked to this one here okay so what you need to do you need to use the indirect function again so when you use the indirect function just click here okay but make sure you lock the cell because you don't want it to um, uh, change reference when you uh, drag the function down so we do that by pressing f4 and okay so what the indirect function is going to do is going to take the name 
in C2 and ask Excel, uh, do you have something called company one? And Excel will come back saying, yes, I do have a table called company one. And then, you know, the indirect function is going to translate that into, uh, you know, the table itself. Okay. So this is uh, how we direct the function to the correct uh, table. Okay. Because you want to take the table name from this cell. Okay. And then it's going to ask us, okay, we got the table in which column uh, the data that you want to bring back here. Uh, is located okay so we know that we have two columns only and the price is uh, located in column two okay so we write two and the last thing is you need to have an exact match okay because we're talking about text here and uh, we don't want to you know to mess with the approximate match all right so and the function is now ready okay it's always gonna take the name in this cell okay and try to find you know uh, something called company one or company two and brings back the um, the correct range okay so once we hit enter you can see that we got our price and it shows 66 if we go here you can see in company one table the first one is actually 66 so we are okay the only thing you need to do now is just uh, drag it and you can see we're getting all the prices that we uh, that we need for our price list for company one okay and um, if we want to show the price for company two it's just uh, a click away uh, you choose company two and see how the price will automatically change okay uh, same goes for company three it's going to change and uh, company three starts with 56 if you go here you can see it's 56 and the last one is 77 so we're doing good so uh, this actually works best if you have a lot of you know companies maybe 20 maybe 30 something like that and uh, you have a lot of products and um, you kind of have you know all your price list set up but when you want to bring them out you, you you prefer to print from one uh, price list okay so uh, this is how uh, it works if you have any question about it please leave a comment and I'll try my best to uh, to answer them okay so uh, thank you so much for uh, watching I hope to see you next time thank you